Welcome back to the Intentional Carnivore. We all know the word cancer. It's a word that cuts through every conversation like a knife. It's touched so many of us. Maybe a friend, a parent, a child, a loved one, maybe even you. It's a beast that takes too much too often. But what if we could fight back? What if we could wage a war on cancer right from our dinner tables, right from our own homes? Yes, you and me. What if we can make a big difference and a big impact in this world? Now, I'm not here to sell you some magic cure or to create an illusion that maybe every single case of cancer is going to magically disappear. What I'm saying is I'm not the only one with a belief or a hunch that's grown into something huge that uh, is taken that many of us can make an impact with simply by eating the proper human diet, eating as we were designed and created to eat. It sounds crazy, I'm sure, but... Think about it. Our ancestors thrived on it, and we certainly didn't see the detrimental effects that we see today or even the array of disease processes that we see so prevalent today. I'm suggesting that we strip out the sugar, we strip out the, the processed foods, and return to the basics. It's so simple, just meat and animal products. You might be thinking, isn't that really unhealthy? But that's the surprising part. Listen to what the studies are showing these days. What do we do now if we have cancer? Okay, well, that's a very good question. But because, because these cancer cells have such damaged mitochondria, they can't function normally and they can't make energy properly, they, got, they have to make energy uh, through another pathway. Mm -hmm. And so they actually, because they're so inefficient at making uh, energy and because they have such a high metabolic demand, they require 400 times the amount of glucose, blood sugar, mm -hmm. than normal cells do but they're also not able to run on ketones. So in fact, ketogenic metabolic therapy, putting someone on a ketogenic diet, getting their ketones up and getting their glucose down, that has been shown to be extremely effective in fighting cancer. The proper human diet can decrease inflammation, improve overall health, and potentially lower your risk for cancer. It's not a silver bullet. It's a spark of hope, a path to explore, a chance to take a swing back at cancer because it because it's blatantly obvious to me and most others that the current path isn't working. Now, I'm not asking you to jump in blindly. Do your research. Uh, even just as a standalone, right? Mm -hmm. And so things like triple negative breast cancer is actually very responsive to this bowel cancer, very responsive. And even brain cancers like GBM, there are about, you know, there's a couple dozen human trials and there's more in the works looking at this. There's smaller studies, the, the ones for, for GBMs. But there are even randomized controlled trials with like 20 people in it showing a clear benefit to survival and and disease free years of progression, disease free progression, uh, years of disease free progression, I should say, um, versus the standard of care. Standard of care for GBM, glioblastoma, brain cancer is is, uh, you know, it's it's better than just leaving it alone uh, and not doing anything differently. You know, if you don't treat a GBM. Uh, the average life expectancy from diagnosis is three months and sometimes less than that if it's a if it's one of the more aggressive ones and with you know chemo radiation and surgery it's about 15 to 18 months you know some some you know numbers are showing closer to two years now that's you know it's better but you yeah. know it's not all that much and you're going through a lot uh to get there as well and so there are a number of people that have just said well that doesn't sound good to me and so I'm going to do something else. They go down the ketogenic metabolic therapy uh, route. And there are, there are a number of people that I've spoken to. Uh, I've published one on my podcast, uh, Andrew Scarborough. I have two more that I'm going to publish um, that are all GBM brain cancers that don't have GBM brain cancers anymore because they just went on, on a ketogenic and then carnivore diet. And they, they resolved it themselves. And they're 10 years down the track. If this is you, don't shy away from thinking outside the box. After all, it's worth fighting for if it brings less pain and less loss, if it can make an impact. It's about deciding that we're not going to sit silently by, very quietly, as cancer runs rampant, taking those who we love. We're going to fight. We're going to share the truth. We're going to use every tool at our disposal to break the chains of fear. We can stand tall, armed with the truth and the knowledge for those being misled by the general healthcare community. Cancer has had its reign, and it's time we reclaim health, lives, and the future of those who have a fighting chance with this. 
Those who have gone on before us who have fought this horrible disease deserve answers and they never got them. It's up to us to continue their fight and to do all we can to put a stop to this tragedy that never seems to be satisfied and just keeps taking all those we care about way too soon. Today I implore you to set your resolve and refuse to sit idly by for another second with this message or with just good intentions. Share what you know with those who will listen. Change people, change people. Bless people, bless people. You never know who, whose life you're going to impact and change by leading with your example. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's, it's an issue that is dear and near to my heart, and I know it is to yours as well. Stay strong and keep pushing forward. Literally hundreds of studies in, in cancer biology and oncology showing the effectiveness of ketogenic metabolic therapy in cancer, you know, uh, for more to, to more or less, greater or lesser degrees in different cancers, but they, they all seem to be effective in, uh, in every cancer, even in things like GBM, which are horribly hard to treat mm -hmm. and, and don't even actually rely on much glucose. They get everything from glutamine. So right. it's, uh, it's, uh, and more and more and more, uh, information and publications are coming out on the subject. So yes, it's absolutely uh, vital to get the nutrition right on cancer.